Example 1. Sheet alignment. Problem. We waste a lot of time aligning objects and making sure they are evenly spaced. Solution. Select all the graphs by left-clicking on them one by one and simultaneously holding down the control key. Then, under the Format tab, select the Align icon and choose Align Left. The graphs have now been aligned and are a suitable distance from the table. You can move them using the keyboard arrows. Now we'll make the gaps between them consistent using the Distribute Vertically tool. After clicking the Align icon, many other alignment options are shown. In business practice, Excel is normally used to analyse and to create graphs. The results of the analyses are often presented in the form of PowerPoint presentations. This Excel function works in exactly the same way in PowerPoint. Example 2. Sheet dragging. When most Excel users want to move column D between columns F and G, they normally select column G, insert a column, drag column D to its new position, and then delete the empty space where column D used to be. It's a rather long-winded process. But it can be done faster. First select column D, then drag it between columns F and G whilst holding the Shift key down. Holding down the Shift key when dragging causes a line to appear, showing the place where the dragged column will be placed. Remember to let go of the mouse button before you release the Shift key. As a result, columns E and F have been shifted to the left. Exactly the same procedure can be used to drag rows, ranges, or a single cell, and you can practice this by doing a few tests of your own on the table from this exercise. If you press the control key while dragging, the data will be copied. The column, row, range, or cell will appear in its new location and will overwrite the cells that it replaces. After a few exercises, you will get the hang of it. Example 3. Sheet Conditional Formatting Conditional formatting can have many uses. The standard ones are described in the lesson Conditional Formatting, but here I'll show you two non-standard uses that are still useful. This table presents the average deviations of the forecasts prepared by three estimators. I'll show you how to quickly determine whose forecasts in most of the cases were the closest to reality, or who had the lowest deviation. Select the area from cell C4 to cell E15. And select Conditional Formatting, then New Rule. Select Format Only Cells That Contain. Choose Equal To, then enter the formula equals min, open bracket, and then select the first row and press F4 twice, because the rows should change but not the columns. Then close the brackets. Then choose a green background. If the cell value is equal to the minimum of its row, the cell background will turn green. By inserting the dollar signs for the columns, the same formula will work properly for the whole table. After clicking OK, we can see straight away that the lowest deviation occurred most often in the case of the first estimator. Example 4. Sheet Conditional Formatting Another unusual use of conditional formatting is to highlight places with a data change. In this table, several products belong to four groups. It's hard to recognize the places where the group values change at first glance, so we'll use conditional formatting to make it clearer. If a value in a cell is not equal to the value of the cell above it, the first cell and the cell above it should be separated by a line. Select both products and groups. Then select Conditional Formatting, New Rule, then Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Then in the box labelled Format Values where this formula is true, enter equals dollar sign $H4 less than more than dollar sign $H3. If the value in the cell above is not equal to the value of this cell, the formula is true and conditional formatting will apply itself. From the address you must delete the dollar sign before the row number and leave it before the column. This is so that only the cells from column H will be compared, but all previously selected columns will be formatted. And then we'll add an upper border from the border menu. The result is that separating lines appear in places where the group number changes. Example 5. Sheet Special. Data imported from corporate information systems often don't have headers for each row, only for the first of the given group, and sometimes the cells are merged. 
Data in this format can't be used to create a pivot table, nor be filtered, and many other data manipulation tools are difficult or impossible, so it's best to fill in the missing row headers. If the cells are merged, select them and click the Merge and Center icon, which will separate them. The data that was in the merged cell automatically falls into the first new cell. Then press the F5 key and select Special in the Go To window. Then select the Blanks option and click OK. In the previously selected range, now only the empty cells are selected. The active cell is C4. We'll enter the formula equals C3 and press Control and Enter, which copies the formula into all selected cells. Each empty cell now equals the above cell. The final stage will be replacing the formulas with values by copying columns B and C and pasting the same place values into them by using paste special values. Example 6. Sheet Join Graphs The author of this sheet made two graphs with the market shares for companies A and B, though later it was concluded that the data would look better on a single graph. Instead of changing one of the graphs, it's faster to first select one of them and copy it, Control c then activate the second graph and paste the copied one. This means the graphs are combined and the previously selected formatting is kept. The data does look better. The huge interdependence of the market shares of the two companies is now immediately clear. Example 7. The image used in this example is available in the files for this exercise. The file name is logo. Problem. We want to have a company logo or the official corporate presentation background in the background of our table to make the report look professional. Solution. From the page layout tab, select the background command. Then choose the image you need. In this example, you can see the difference between when the table cells do not have a background and when they do. A report prepared in this way can be further modified, for example by changing the fill colors around the tables, leaving a frame with the company logo, and turning off the grid lines and headings. After these changes, the final version of the report may look something like this. I recommend being careful when introducing these modifications, since often it's the most simplest layouts that look the most professional. More on this topic can be found in the Advanced Professional Reports lesson. When you add a background to the sheet, the background icon changes to Delete Background. Example 8. Sheet Ampersand. Problem. Entering the long name of the concatenate function is time consuming, and formulas that use many of these functions become very long. Solution. The ampersand symbol has the same functionality as shown in these examples. Example 9. Sheet Calculation. Problem. Excel either incorrectly calculates or doesn't calculate at all the formulas after entering or changing data. In this example, we are copying the sum from cell C16 to D16 and still see the same value, but it's obvious when looking at the sum of the data from column D that it can't exceed 2 million. Reason. The option Manual has been selected from the options under the Formulas tab. This option is useful for large files that recalculate more slowly but the file is only recalculated after pressing F9, before saving, or when we change the calculation options to automatic. The solution is to change the calculation options to automatic. Please note, by selecting the manual calculation, it can be contagious. Yes, contagious. When we have several files open, and one of them has a manual calculation, the others can automatically take on the same setting and keep it even if you close the original file. Example 10. Sheet Formula. Problem. In the formula, you cannot enter the cell's address by clicking on it with the mouse because the formula covers the cell you want to click. In our example, cell E8. Solution. Add cell addresses to formulas faster by selecting the cells using the arrows on the keyboard. Alternative solution. Change the cell formatting to align to the left, then the long formula will be shown on the right side and won't hide the cells on the left. Example 11. Sheet Hyperlink. Hyperlinks are associated with the internet, and very few people use them in Excel files. However, they are very useful when working with large tables, or files with many worksheets. 
In this example, the sales data for four branches are shown in the table. Scrolling through the table is time consuming, so we'll use hyperlinks to quickly find the data we need. Activate cell A4 and select hyperlink after right clicking. Place in this document is the default selection and we'll leave it like that. For the text to display, enter branch 1 and as a reference cell C2. After clicking OK, the link will appear in the cell that was active and after clicking it, it will activate cell C2. When creating further hyperlinks, we could use the method I just described, but it's faster to copy the hyperlink from cell A4 and just change the cell column in the reference. The branch number will change itself during copying. To edit a hyperlink, right click on it and select edit hyperlink. The edit hyperlink window is exactly the same as the insert hyperlink window, apart from its name. After inserting all hyperlinks, we get a very practical tool helping us to navigate this large document. It's worth noting that when using freeze panes, hyperlinks are always visible. After the first use, hyperlinks change colour so we know which ones have already been used. If you don't like it, you can change their font colour to blue so they don't change colour. The usefulness of this solution is exemplified with much larger data sets. Hyperlinks can also refer to cells in other sheets, and by using this we can prepare a kind of table of contents for a big report. Example 12. Problem. The file we are using has a large number of links to another file that was created and was updated by someone else. The data has been changed, and the new file has the same data layout, but it's in a different directory and has a different name. Solution. Under the Data tab, you will find the Edit Links tool. In the Edit Links window, click on Change Source. Select the new version of the file you want to download data from, and click OK. All the links in the file, not just the active worksheet, that were related to the previous version of the budget, have now been changed, and they download data from the file that we selected. Problems can arise if there are differences in sheet names, or the right data in both files are not in exactly the same cells. In the next example, you'll find out how to deal with the change in the layout of the rows and the columns in the new version of the source file. Example 13. Problem. In our file, we've created a lot of links to a file created by our colleague. Then the source file changed, and the tables have moved, so the data is in different rows and columns, and the links download the wrong data. Solution. If the layout of the tables has not changed, the easiest way will be to first open the old source file and the target file with links. Secondly, change the old source file so that it has a format exactly like the new source file by adding or deleting rows and columns. The links in the target file automatically change when you add or delete columns and rows in the source file. Then close the target file and save the changes. Close the old source file without saving the changes. Open the target file and change the source from the old source file to the new one. And lastly, now the links will refer to the correct cells in the new source file. This method can also be used to copy links that refer to another table in the same file with the same layout. All you need to do is understand that when both files are open, the links automatically change, and when the target file is closed, you can go back to the previous version of the file using the undo command, or close it without saving the changes. Example 14. Problem. For example, after entering the number 1000 into a cell, another number appears in the cell. Reason. In options, under the advanced tab, automatically insert a decimal point has been selected. The solution is to deselect it. We adjust this course all the time in order to make it perfect, so your comments will help us a lot. 